KSA 2025 warriors, are you ready to crack your KSA exam and top your PU board exams with just 60 days left on your calendar? So students, the countdown has already begun and this is your time to shine. I know it is very, very difficult to manage two massive challenges. One is your first PU board exams from 1st March to 20th of March. And right after that, the big showdown that is your KSET exam on 16th and 17th of April. But guess what? With right strategy, you can slay both of these exams and can secure a top 1000 rank. So yes, today I'm here to reveal an ultimate 60 day strategy where I'll discuss what to study, how to study and when to study without burning out. I will also discuss some smart study hacks, some smart strategies and some motivational tips to help you win. So students, are you ready to join this game changing journey? Do not worry, let's dive in. So yes. Before starting anything, I will introduce you to today's agenda, what all things we are going to discuss in this video. So first thing that we are going to talk about is why the next 60 days are very, very crucial. This 60 days are going to be your make or break period. Then we'll be talking about the effective phases of preparation. So the 60 days I have divided into three phases. Okay, we'll talk about that in detail. Next, how to master a chapter. Many a times we study a chapter, but while writing the questions or while solving the questions, we are not able to do that. That is because we haven't solved it efficiently or we haven't completed the chapter efficiently. So I'll tell you the proper method how to master a chapter faster. Next, we'll have some must have study resources. So what all books you need to be followed. Next, we'll be talking about chapter wise weightage and then I'll be giving you some tips and tricks to succeed and to stay consistent in this next 60 days. Okay, let's begin with the first thing that is why the 60 days are very crucial. So you know, your KSET exam is on 16th and 17th of April and your board exams are from 1st to 20th of March. So what is important here? You cannot ignore these board exams because you know that 50% weightage is there in your KSET rank determination. So you have to pay equal importance to both the above exams, right? And then what is the challenge in this? The challenge here is you have two important exams and you have to excel in both the exams and you are just left with one month or I'll say 26 or 25 days for your PU board exams. So that is why this 60 days are very crucial and these 60 days are going to affect your rank directly or indirectly. Okay. So if we move forward and see, talk about the phases of preparation. So this 60 days I have divided into three phases. So the first phase will start till, it will start whenever you are seeing this video till 28th of February. What is the main thing we'll be doing? Syllabus completion of PU2 and PU1 for those who are already done with PU2 or our main focus should be completing the PU2 syllabus. The second phase starts from 1st to 20th of March when your PU board exams are there and I want all of you to focus only on your board exams, nothing else. Next coming to the third phase, once your board exams are over from 21st March to 14th of 14th or 15th of April, just we have to focus on the KSET exam and we have to focus on intense practice. At that time, there is no point of covering of syllabus that you have to do in this phase. This phase you have to focus on your board exam and here only thing that you are going to do is intense practice, revision, practice, revision. Okay. So yes, let's go here. The first phase as I told you will be from today to 28th of February. So what is there, what is, should be our goal in this phase? You have to complete 100% KSET and PU2 syllabus. Now here I'm saying those students who have already completed their PU2 syllabus, okay, who are way ahead, who have performed well in the pre-board exam, those students can focus on completing the PU1 syllabus now. But for those students whose pre-board marks are not very good, whose PU is only not completed, PU2 is not completed completely, so you need to focus on your PU2 first. If you get time, go for PU1 or else only PU2, okay? So what you have to study? You have to study for at least 10 hours per day and I know this is possible at this point of time because many of you would have got study leave so you can do this. 
Now, what you have to follow? Prioritize those chapters which is common to case set and board. So, that is nothing but your PU 2 chapters. Okay. So, here I have given a breakdown of study hours of 10 hours. So, it is like 5 hours you should focus on theory for boards. Okay. Concept clarity. And these 5 hours you can further divide as 3 plus 2. You can take one difficult subject on this 3 hours and one easy subject here. Okay. So, you can like make it. Uh, like not together 5 hours, 3 hours morning, 2 hours evening, you can divide it. Next 3 hours what you should be doing, case it, focus, practice MCQs, okay. So, those students, so suppose you have completed some PU2 chapters, 6, 7 chapters are done. Do that uh, particular chapter MCQs, okay. 3 hours you can spend on solving MCQs. Now, 1 hour what you should be doing, formula and concept revision. Revision is very, very important. How much ever we study, if we are not able to recall what we have studied during the exam, then all effects, all efforts will go into vain. We are not going to do that. We have to spend time one hour for revision. Next one hour, you can write a mock test or PYQs of previous year questions. So, this mock test can include both your PU2 plus your KSET questions, okay. Some 30 minutes you can write PU to some important questions, solve it, write it and test it whether you are getting it correct or not. K set PYQs you can also solve. Now we have started this K set master stroke, you can watch our series, you can solve questions from us that is also available. Or else for solving PU two questions our Brahmastra series is the best one, please follow that, you can solve there as well. So, here something pro tip I am giving you, maintain separate notes for theory and MCQs, okay. So, whenever you write down such certain short notes for theories, have a separate note and MCQs when you are solving any question you got wrong. So, have a separate note for MCQs. Okay, that is a pro tip. You can follow it or not. Next, coming to phase. Okay, so here I am telling you one integrated study plan how you are going to do. So, you can see this. See, I have already explained you. See, suppose you are going to study for two hours. For example, I have given you five hours, right? to study 3 plus 2. So, you are studying one easy subject. I guess that chemistry is easy for all of you and you have selected one chapter, okay. So, just try to finish the concept of that chapter. For example, solutions chapter. Try to do it in one hour, okay. Next 30 minutes solve some previous year questions or solve some uh, numericals from that and next 30 minutes do some case at previous year questions. So, this is how you should be doing integrated chapter, integrated study. Whenever one chapter is completed, try to do its questions from your, uh, for your PU boards as well, as well as for your case set. So, I will be giving you just a list of sources. For example, solutions chapter is done, okay. So, for PU2, you can use our Brahmastra series and do all the questions, okay. And for K set, you can follow our master stroke series, which we have recently started, or you can do our K set 60 out of 60 series, okay. Here for PU2 MCQs, you can follow the chakra view series, okay. So, this is the list of things that you can do from our channel. Now, moving forward to phase 2, that is from 1st of 20th of March. This is the time when your board exams are starting and everybody should focus on your board exams. Uh, that should be a major concern. So, what should be your goal here? Perform exceptionally well on the PU2 boards. Now, what do you mean by exceptionally well? At least 290 plus in PCM. Okay, this is mandatory thing like that. Now, study only for board exams during this phase. So, do not worry, do not go for case set too much. So, if you are having too much gap between the subjects or if you have some easy subject in between, in those cases, you can follow this trick. That is, use early morning hours for quick case set formula revision. Just open half an hour is enough, half an hour to one hour you can spend and revise the formulas at a quick glance. Next, exam day. What should be your strategy on the exam day? watch, uh, write down structured answers and focus on presentation, okay. What do you mean by focus on presentation? I will make a detailed video on this, but yes, you should underline the keywords, you should write, uh, leave space, you should follow the order, you should write the questions of the same section in one place. These all things comes on the presentation, so work on that. Next, once this board exams are over, so spend 30 minutes on case revision if possible, okay. 
so yes now coming to the last phase of our preparation that is from 21st march to april 14 or 15 till your exams are there so 14th i'm telling because 15th is a day where you should relax chill 15th you should keep yourself um, motivated confident and on 15th you should go like 16th you should go and write your exam so your preparation should be up to 14th of april so what all things you should to do master case set specific problem solving techniques okay so we would have solved many questions by this now but you should learn some techniques how to uh, complete this answer quickly how to solve this answer quickly what are the different tips and tricks that you can follow you need to do mastery in this okay solving questions is not difficult but solving 60 questions in 60 minutes is the challenge right okay so focus area should be your speed your accuracy and time management how are you going to solve 60 questions in 60 minutes what are the challenges coming here that is what you need to focus here and this will improve by writing more number of mock tests so yes what should be your schedule per day so here also i'll tell four hours solve mcqs from physics chemistry and maths so i don't want to make it four i want to give you six okay so six hours for each subject like two hours two hours two hours okay next two hours revision of your weak concept weak concept i can say even pu1 because most of you might not have done it so you can give two hours for that and was one hour is solve a full length mock test you know your exams case at exam is also for one hour so one hour you can do this full length mock test so nine hours and i can give you 30 minutes one more thing you have to do is to analyze your mock test okay next so after every test you should analyze that you should write down those questions that got wrong and you should prepare those questions while revision okay so you have to have a number here that you have to do at least 10 case set mock test full length mock test okay before the exam so i can just give you a brief idea here see from march 21st to tell i can say march 31st okay because many of you might not have done your pu2 syllabus pu1 syllabus sorry so try to complete in this period your pu1 syllabus okay 10 days just give time just you have to read the important concept and solve questions important formulas and start solving questions no need to go very deep in your pu1 syllabus because it carries very less weightage now from 31st of april to i can say 10th of april okay or i can say up to 12th of april try to give at least one one mock test every day one hour mock any one subject you give right or you can start like this first second third pcm then again pcm or b okay m or b like that try start writing mock tests one or two mock tests also you can go because it is only one hour test right so try to attempt as many as mock tests from first of april okay this is from first april clear fine now going to the resources or oh sorry how to master a chapter so first thing is you have to select any one chapter whichever you want to complete if you have time go and read our and read your ncrt books if not you just want to quickly complete the chapter go for diksha videos we have done all the chapters we have covered so please complete them then you have to make short notes from that then you have to do practice questions using brahmastra so this is solely for your pu2 whichever then you can do previous year questions model test papers questions then analyze and revise then go for the second chapter so if you do all this i can say one two three four five six steps then this one chapter will be completed after that i'll be telling you the book list so this is very very important to have ncrt book then coaching or reference notes only to practice questions not for learning the concepts short notes should be your own handmade short notes and pyqs you can do for a pu2 10 years of pyqs k set and comet k pyqs also should be solved and then you have to join any one test series so that you can test your preparation okay after that chapter wise weightage i have given you here the list of high weightage moderate weightage and low weightage topic so what you have to do first you need to complete the high weightage topic then you have to do the moderate weightage then you have to do the low weightage topics similarly you have for chemistry okay so this is the order you need to follow in chemistry take a screenshot of that 
and then you have for bio like bio the high weightage topics are your continuity integrals determinants vector algebra probability application of derivatives 3d geometry okay these chapters try to complete first then go for this one and this small chapter you can do at the end okay so similarly you have pu1 uh, weightage as well okay in pu1 you see all the chapters almost carry one one marks in physics you have this one important chapter system of particles and rotational motion so if you have time do this chapter in this first phase of your preparation if not after your board exams focus on this chapter directly similarly in chemicals chemical bonding uh, equilibrium redox reaction and hydrocarbon should be of your high preference similarly in maths you should follow on sequence and series limits and derivatives relations and function after completing these three chapters you can do the other chapters you have because if i see that nobody is doing these pu1 chapters right now and you are waiting to complete it after your exams then i'll give you only 10 days right so in 10 days your first preference should be to complete these important chapters okay next something which is very important is consistency right consistency can beat anything okay you know cons the power of consistency is like it can overcome very smart talent everything can be overcome by consistency so make sure that you are studying every day from today okay effective study hours are there okay so you have to make a strict timetable and you have to follow that you have to avoid any distraction so whenever you are studying please limit the use of social media if possible keep your phone away from yourself and st start studying next you can take short breaks so that you don't get burn out if you continuously are studying your brain may get uh, like um, confused or it may get stuck it may not work for some time so take some break recharge your brain and especially follow the pomodoro technique study for 25 minutes and take a 5 minutes break then study for 2 hours and take 15 minutes break then revision is very important if you find revision is boring please do active recall okay do not have to go and read the notes again and again try to recall by just using some uh, plain paper and write down whatever you have written or revise by teaching something and the best and interesting way is to revise by solving questions next you have track your daily progress this is something which i was used to uh, like follow when my uh, when i was studying okay so you should track your daily progress today how much you have studied how many hours you have studied today if you are writing mock test every day how much mark you got today how much mark you got tomorrow so this daily progress should be written should be recorded okay yes next we have some success formula for top thousand ranks so students first of all you should have self-confidence okay i find many of you asking that ma'am is it possible is it possible in this days yes it is possible but the only thing is you have to work hard you have to put 100 percent effort so if you haven't studied anything till now then put 12 hours 14 hours every day then only it is possible but yes it is still possible so first thing is you should complete your syllabus on time definitely your pu2 syllabus com should be completed within feb of 26 25 and try to complete some pu1 chapters also in this period of time next you should do previous year questions and high weightage topics you should have mastery over that any question comes from that should be done correctly next you have to excel in your boards because it has 50 percent weightage Ex again excel means 295 plus is your target 290 plus also is fine solve 10 plus full length papers so every time you should focus on solving the mock test 10 plus full length papers if you solve then definitely you will improve and you have a more chance of getting into top thousand rank last yes stay motivated and consistent so please do not get demotivated do not uh, talk to negative people keep yourself positive by talking to yourself tell yourself that i can do it i will do it i will put my 100 percent efforts okay so that is what is this 60 day strategy so yes students that's all in this video and i hope that you would have found this helpful and you would have divided your phases as well and start have and start your preparation seriously okay so please remember 60 to 70 days are hardly left for the exam this time this is your make or break period and we are going to study seriously every one of us is going to study seriously from today onwards okay so those students who are in in this please comment down that i will study seriously from today i want all of you to comment this to show me that commitment that you will work hard for your exam for your rank for your dream college
Thank you and see you soon in the next episode. Do not forget to subscribe the channel.